What do you think, Leah? I'm gonna miss this van. You're gonna miss the van? Mm-hmm. Yeah? But also I'm excited for the new car. It's gonna be cool. It's big. Big. Yeah. Big. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Anna? I'm gonna miss this car, but I can't wait for the new car. Yeah? It's gonna be fun, huh? So, we're selling our 2012 Honda Odyssey. Um, and what I wanted to do on this vlog was talk about why. The van's been a really great car in a lot of respects. The reason why we're getting rid of the van actually has nothing to do with the fact that it's a minivan. Uh, we love minivans. We think that they're a very mature way to transport a larger family. We think that, you know, they're, they handle great. We bought a Honda Odyssey because everybody has told us that Hondas are bomb proof. Not so much with this one. We've been less than impressed. And the reason is because of the reliability. I'm not gonna badmouth Honda as a brand, but we just wound up with a lemon. Not enough to claim lemon law. The first problem that we had was at around 3,500 miles, the brakes warped. Every time I turn around and say the brakes warped that quickly, people say, oh, well, you need to stop accelerating hard and slamming on the brakes. That's not the case at all. We had a Nissan Murano for six years that never needed to have the rotors replaced. We got the Honda, and at the end of our first road trip that Christina mentioned, we had warped rotors and the steering wheel shaking violently every time we were braking. There were a couple of other things that we noticed about the van that we were displeased with. On our way back from our road trip, which we took in the winter, we ran out of windshield washer fluid. The reason why we ran out of windshield washer fluid is because it had been snowing, and dirt and mag chloride were kicking up onto the windshield and onto the front of the car. Well, we were using a lot of windshield washer fluid to keep the, the window clean. Not only is the tank in the van very small, but there's no indicator light to warn you, hey, you're running out of fluid. Basically, we were doing 70 miles an hour down a highway, stuff's kicking up on the window, we go to spray the window, and what we wind up doing is smearing the stuff all over the place, and we couldn't see where we were going. It was extremely dangerous. It's the kind of corner cutting, you, you just don't do that. So we're at Discount Tire, getting the, uh, getting the screw taken out of the front driver's side tire that we discovered this morning. So depending on the damage, we may have to go to another store in Castle Rock, which is on our way, to replace the tires. As soon as this is done, we'll swing back by the house, grab a few things, and then we'll be ready to go. We're going to a gas station to get some pops while we wait for the van to get fixed. Then it'll be three hours to Trinidad. So we finished the discount tire, we went home, we grabbed some computers so that I can edit while Kurt drives us back, and so Gavin can, I don't know, watch movies or something yeah. from his computer. Um, we're on our way to pick up Kurt, and uh, then we're going to pick up Caitlin so she can come along with us, and, uh, and then we're on our way to Trinidad. Looks like we're going to be beating the guy from the dealership by an hour. Wait, it's going to be like 8 o'clock. No. He's like six. Yeah, so that'll give us time to sit down and have some dinner and relax, and then we'll meet him, sign the papers, and then head back. Trinidad and now we're waiting for the guy with the new car to come. You want to sit for a few minutes or you want to just go get food? They're having fun. Really? Now you got to go the whole way back with wet feet. It's okay. He only put one in. Oh jeez. Yeah. What? what? Some people skip. I know. Abs or flabs? Abs or flabs. No, those look like abs. Flaps. So the guy just texted me. He's 132 miles away. 
so he's two hours out. Yeah, two well, that's hours fine. out. We got, we're going to be here for at least an hour. Yeah, it's true. Well, look, it's like ping pong. <laughs> Being out to dinner with a couple of teenagers. <laughs> How about a teenager and... Gavin. Um, <laughs> three year old. Uh, I'd say he's over three. I'd say more like six. <laughs> <laughs> no, these ones. These ones. Put your tusk out there, a little saber tooth, Gavin. <laughs> he's been entertaining us with magic tricks and these little acts with the straws. And... It's just about time to say goodbye to the van. Half hour. Half hour, and then we get our uh, our new car. So getting rid of this van is a little bittersweet. We've got a lot of memories in it. Unfortunately, we just had a lot of problems with this thing. It's four years old and it has problems with the steering system. It has transmission problems. I took it to my mechanic and he looked at it and he told me that it was going to cost me $4,500 in replacement parts to try to fix it. It wasn't even going to guarantee that it was fixed. My mechanic's comment was, look, it doesn't even have 50,000 miles on it. You're having the kind of problems I'd expect at, you know, 150, 200,000 miles. And he said, you got to get rid of it. So that's what we've done. We've gotten rid of it. We're going to be replacing it with an SUV. What's exciting about that is while the van's been great for getting around town for long road trips, we've been kind of in a tough position when it comes to going camping and getting through uh, heavy snow. The reason why I'm in Trinidad to take delivery of it is that, is that I tried to work out a deal with the local dealership in Denver and they just didn't have what we were looking for. So um, I called these guys up directly in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They did the deal with me over the phone. So they're on their way up here and uh, they should be here in probably about 20 minutes and I'm going to sign the paperwork and then we're going to head back home. Well, there it is. That's our new car. Nice. <laughs> cool.